Tis the end of death rate. It was a pretty good day. Um, let's see here, the wee summary. Day three. Gareth and uh, Eamon and Emer visited me, the friends. <coughs> that was a bit of crack. Um, we were taking the Mickey and um, piss out of um, <laughs> uh, random people walking past. Uh, I was pretending to be a statue and stuff together and uh, just generally sitting about annoying people. And we were kind of shouting down the phone and stuff. And I uh, <coughs> was contacted by the BBC again for another interview on Saturday morning, so that that's confirmed. So I'm going to be on uh, the morning show, what do you call it, at uh, 10, between 10 and half 10 on BBC Ulster. And I uh, was also contacted by A102, 104, which have done voice of work uh, for before. And I was down there and they're a brilliant crowd in Galway, so that should be a good crack. Uh, hopefully that'll happen for um, iTalk, which is a part of the radio show. And uh, Peter Dixon, yeah, I emailed Peter Dixon. Those of who you don't know who Peter Dixon is, he's actually the um, the E4 and X Factor. Uh, the voiceover guy, Peter Dixon, indeed, the X Factor. Those voices like Owen Quigg and all that crack. So I rang him, or I emailed him, sorry, and uh, said, Here, Peter, it's crack. Uh, and Chance said uh, I could record a conversation between us and I could do the imp impersonation of you to you and he was really dead on and actually uh, you know emailed me within about half an hour and go yeah no problem so I'm going to ring him tomorrow and record that for you and put it on the internet so that should be a good crack and uh, what else here happened oh yeah the leg wax girl popped around as well so she, she confirmed so we're going to do leg waxing outside the, the booth here and as you can see at the moment it's, it's pretty quiet like all, all the shops are closed it's about 11 o'clock now like so nobody's there so all the shops closed them, um, and as I was saying, she came down and uh, she confirmed for the leg waxing for the crack. So um, hopefully they'll supply all the stuff. I have to uh, find her on MSN again and see uh, what day will be suit. But what I'm actually going to do is, hopefully all going well, there'll be a few people out there leg waxing f for charity, hopefully. Get some money for charity. And uh, they'll give me a few of the pads or slips or whatever the hell it is. And I'll wax, a bit, lax, I'll wax a bit of my own leg in here for the crack and record it. And so you can see it on YouTube if you're not in Belfast at the time. And uh, yes, the best part of today was hearing this fact. So we're obviously going out on webcam here um, on, on the internet. Like I'm, I'm sorry for the lag uh, and the delay the odd time, uh, but um, it's because so many people are watching it. Uh, there, there are facts in there where the, you know, the BT experiment.com. The btexperiment.com site or the bt.com forward slash experiment had more hits in day one than Big Brother or than channel4.com forward slash Big Brother did on its day one this year. That's pretty good, like. I was really happy with that. Like, that's, that's brilliant. Like, I couldn't have wanted more. So, hopefully, we'll beat them again. Come on! Beat the Big Brother. Just watch the one Egypt. <laughs> you don't even worry about the Big Brother. Come on! So hopefully Death for World will bring on a load of happiness again and I'll give you a wee shout back at the end. And through the day as well with Twitter and Bebo and Facebook and YouTube and whatnot. And uh, come and give me the crack in the door as well, just uh, at the window. I'll have to shout though, but um, you can email me from anywhere. Bye.